Hello. Good morning, everyone. Myself, Dr. Dushan Pradeem, and this is our lecture for physics classes by Dr. Dushan. And today we are going to have a discussion on a topic from 11th class, that is dimensional analysis. It is a very much important topic at the point of view of the examination as well as for learning next topics of physics in 11th class. Dimension analysis. First of all, what the dimensions are? As we know, the derived physical quantities such as velocity, they can easily be denoted, they can easily be broken down in terms of fundamental physical quantities such as length and time. This is a breakage of velocity. Now your velocity has been, can be, it can be written in terms of length and in terms of time. Now, length into time in words gives you the similar variation as that of velocity. So, for representing the dimensions, we use certain fundamental quantities, which are seven in number, by their certain symbols, so that we can easily represent the derived physical quantities. So, in term of velocity, we are going to use length, capital L, for time. Now, we are having three physical three principal physical quantities which is mass, length and time and for representing this we are going to use these three here mass is absent so we are representing mass with a power 0 so anything raised to power 0 means 1 so I am going to enclose this now come to the topic that is dimensions the powers as m l t they are principal physical quantities, fundamental physical quantities. So the powers which are being raised to them, 0, 1, minus 1, 0, 1, minus 1, they are the dimensions. The whole term which is represented in square brackets, it is a dimensional formula. And this equation in which a physical quantity is equated by a dimension formula that is completely known as dimensional equation. So, dimensions are the powers which are raised to the basic quantities so that we can represent the derived quantity and this representation of those powers along with the physical fundamental quantities this is known as dimensional formula and the whole equation is known as dimensional equation so I think you might have learned about the dimensions the dimensional formula and the dimensional equation actually these things they are very much important for the study of different types of equation, their validity, their correctness and the preparedness for getting or for a derivation of formulas such as a formula for centripetal force, this formula for time period of pendulum. So in other words, this is the most important part of this physics, we are fundamental physics what we are going to study. Now, our next term will be the uses of these dimensional equations, these dimensions. So, be with us so that we can have the next topic on uses of dimensional analysis. Thanks a lot. Follow and subscribe the physics classes by the Shins on YouTube channel so that we can have a continuous rhythm of these classes. Thank you. Have a great day.